Hey, what's up everybody? BDL44 coming at you with another video. All right, forcing myself to do a therapy session. One of them ones where there's nothing wrong, so I gotta force myself to do it. So rather than to talk about anything necessarily wrong, you just dig into your psyche and talk about whatever it is uh, that is happening. If it ain't nothing wrong, just talk about what it is. So I'll tell you exactly what I'm dealing with. This is not a big deal at all, but why not? I'm having trouble with waiting as it pertains to investing now i'm not talking about long term because obviously i've been waiting with amc and that's not a big deal not at all my issue is micro moment tarot how do you say this momentarily momentary i guess is the word waiting for stocks or cryptos to drop to pick me up I know it's psychological. I understand how the markets work. And a lot of times, you, you even when you try to time the market, you're going to fail. So I'm not saying I have an understanding that I should time the market better. But what I am saying is knowing what I should do and having the disposition to be patient enough to wait. Like, let's say, for example, I want to buy some of my favorite crypto, Dog on Mars. It's like 730 at night. I have... A price target that I want to see happen and I suspect that that price target will come tomorrow about 24 hours from now for whatever reason in my brain I don't allow myself to wait until tomorrow usually in my head I'm telling myself well I expect a dip to come but what if it runs up too far now it never retraces back if it doesn't retrace back then I'm stuck you know it's that type of psycho psychology that gets the best of me and I want to put an end to it because I can't tell you how many times in the last five years where I've just made bad trades based on not having the patience to wait or having the faith that my, uh, my assessment of what it is that I'm looking at will do what it is I expect it will do. Um, you know, it's like, like I look at the charts, I know what I'm looking at. I predict something and then I won't follow through with my own prediction. The prediction will be right and I'll be out of the money once again for doing the wrong thing. I, I have done that more times than I have not, believe it or not. I, I honestly think that when I'm intentional, when it comes to stuff like that, I shoot about a 10% free throw percentage. That's, that's how bad I am at that. And it's happened so many times. I've probably left thousands of dollars on the table just by not having the disposition to do what it is that I know I should. Um, and it usually has to do with just waiting until the clock says something else or waiting until the numbers tell me that I should should move in. So trading properly, you know, I feel like success uh, eludes me almost as it pertains to my execution of what it is that I know I should do now. For example, if I were to tell you what my advice would be, all the stuff that I second guess myself about doing, I think I'd be doing pretty good. You know, like I said, I think I've left thousands of dollars on the, on the table and numerous times where I've said, okay, this is what I want to do. This is what I'm hoping to see. And just don't wait. You know, just don't literally walk away from my phone and let the time come around. So that I can use the money that I've set aside to purchase. I, I mean, I'm just very frustrated with that, you guys. That's it. That's literally it. Everything else that's going on around me is, or, or, or in my life right now is is pretty just, it's okay. I'm doing all right. I got the same issues, you know, in terms of my uh, finances and my living situation and my mindset about being isolated and all that stuff has not improved as much as I'd like to say it should. Um... Or, or or should or has it should not have uh, been this difficult for me to kind of snap out of that mindset I guess but this is part of my life but I will say that as far as like doing therapy sessions and stuff like that I just haven't had the idea in my mind to turn on this camera and really talk about anything uh, I guess art has kind of supplemented that since I got my wedding cake weed and have made up made sure I've I've kept sun ever since. Didn't allow myself to go dry. I haven't had the manic episodes or the uh, heavy depression in terms of my situation. Just kind of calm. I think weed has kind of just made it all right. 
but at the same time, I want to keep this practice going. So that's what this is, man. Just just trying to keep the practice going, and and, and you know, and talk about this. You know, talk about it because I have been making some purchases and I have left money on the table. You know, just not doing what I know I should. Not embracing success, and I speak. I think it speaks to something more deep for me, which is why I bring it into a therapy session. You know, it's not like I'm misreading the charts. You know, it's not like I'm such a gumshoe that I can't know. The, I don't know the difference between a high number and a low number. You know, or am so impatient with other things that I can't can't execute that type of patience in other areas. It's just as it pertains to money. And building positions, I just don't have the disposition to wait. You know, I want I want my amount now, and that's just not how you make money. You know, I know that. So, in in terms of uh, like buying my favorite coin, I found myself last night buying too high, knowing it was going to come down, or thinking it would likely come down. It came down to where I thought it would. You know, that kind of thing after I'd already purchased. Uh, it just happens too much. You know, it happens a lot. So that's that. But uh, anyway, as far as um, everything else, you just you just feel good about life. You're waiting on the, uh, the MOAS, obviously. You know, AMC. <laughs> and, uh, you know, for me, I, I look at it personally and I say, well, if, if it hasn't happened yet, it's probably because it's not yet time for it to happen. You know, as it pertains to my own personal life, my own personal, you know what I mean? Because obviously this is bigger than any one person or any one circumstance. Um, we're all in this together. But what I will say is I think God or the universe or however it's true, um, does kind of simultaneously align things to happen for individuals and on a big scale you know he, there's multiple things that could take place at once in regards to purpose in, in my mind and I just feel like it's not time for me to have that in my life just yet to be in that position just yet um, and I don't want to expedite that process or, or, or get too anxious like I did last year to where I'm sitting here saying um, you know, this needs to happen or I'm going to burn out. I'm trying to keep from even going into that space of mind. And so far, so good. I think, like I said, my focus has been kind of on other things. I've, I've kind of taken AMC and just set it to the side and just now worked and focused on other things that I need to try to invest with. And then the destination for that money that's made is always uh, AMC. That's kind of how I have to play it. Instead of YOLO and AMC all the way out, that didn't make me the type of money that it should have made me last year. You know, and while I'm not in that particular play for money, I would love to build my position. Um, you can't do that without making money. So everything can't go into AMC, unfortunately, for me right now. But everything will be going into AMC when it gets done doing whatever it has to do. Um... And so that's just how I have to play it this this year. Didn't play it like that last year. Every coin was always in AMC at all times. But I, I just feel like, you know, there, there are uh, better ways for me to handle my situation going forward and still be very much invested uh, in AMC. And so that's that's what that's where we're at. Um, you know, not saying I'm moving on from the play. Of course not. Never that. But I am redirecting my focus financially to uh, to try to just, just get involved in other stuff, man. You have to. You have to. At some point in time, you got to stop being a slave to one thing, you know. Um, whatever that may be, whether it's, it's one investment or one anything. You just don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. Even if the whole focus is to, to build that one basket. Still got, still got to have other eggs in other areas to help do so and so as we grow we learn uh as we bump our heads we, we we learn and that's what's going on here i've bumped my head quite a bit and it's a lot of learning going on so yeah happy about that um artistically i'm growing my visual art stuff like i said i've gotten a lot more confident in that uh come up with some incredible concepts that i think can go forward and 
and do some great things. So I'm, I'm discovering that there's a uh, there's a artist in me for that that I, I you know I didn't know that I had that in me as a child. So <laughs> when you discover something in your in your late 30s and, and you find out you have a little talent in something, it's like you, you're shocked, you know. And that's where I'm at with that. But um, yeah, maybe maybe that's that's the way to go for me going forward. Not certain yet, but still enjoying the discovery uh, process process and and the practice process of, of just getting better at what it is that I like to do so yeah man I'd like to take that to the next level and I'm not sure how so I guess that's where I want to go with it and also the last but last but not least is my phone uh, you know we're just at a point where I think my Apple music app is eating up all of my my uh, my uh, memory and that's why my videos have been so short. I don't like um, recording on YouTube's app itself. I'd rather transfer the videos uh, from my phone. So that's that's really something that's kind of been irritating. My videos ain't been longer than 12 minutes because I can't seem to clear up any space. Uh, with updates and stuff that comes in. You know how they flood your phone with bullcrap. So you can keep buying phones. Because that's the game. So, you know. Yeah. Yet another situation has to be uh, revised in our, in, our, in our world, man, where we allow these companies and corporations to just sell us expiration date bullcrap that otherwise wouldn't expire unless they forced that process by flooding the phone with garbage. Yeah, that's yet another one of those things they do. They screw us over. But anyway, that's pretty much all I got to say, man. If you want more memory, buy the memory. That's what they tell us. So, yep, BDF44, that will end my therapy session of this situation. I appreciate y'all building, building with me, trying to work on my mental health. And uh, this is um, inter this is not entertainment, I guess you could say. This is why I'm not trying to really make it all that fun, I guess you could say. It's just, just for the brain, that's all. I appreciate you guys. BDF44, I thank y'all for watching. I'm out.